Most of us define ourselves and others by the music that we listen to. So why not take your music to the next level? I mean, with the internet nowadays, there's almost an inexhaustible means of listening to your favorite music and finding new music. So in this video, I'm gonna show you my favorite internet music websites. The first set of websites that I'm going to show you are MP3 search engines. The first one is called Screamer that you can find at www.skreemr.com. And this is a very simple MP3 search engine. You just type in the name of a band and click search and it will give you the search results and you can play the MP3s from directly within those results and share them on YouTube, Facebook, things like that. The next website is called songza.com and this is another mp3 search engine but it gives you a little bit more options, uh, different things to do with the mp3s. So if you search for a band it will bring you back all the search results and you can play them from right within the browser as well or you can add them to a playlist and create a playlist of all the search results and uh, it also gives you the option to embed these songs as well uh, as you can see over there to the right of the screen. Now this website is called mixtape.me and of all the mp3 search engines this one's my favorite uh, not only because of the really cool interface but if you do a search for a band uh, and double click on it it'll start playing it there and it will give you the album cover um, kind of like iTunes or in, in that respect and you can also add playlists just like Songza just drag some uh, songs directly to that playlist and start creating a bunch of playlists and also it gives you the opportunity to embed this playlist that you've created as well and you can also search for YouTube videos things like that. Let's say that you've got this song that you really really like and you can't find it on any of these mp3 search engines but you want to share it with your friends and you wish that there was a way that you could just upload the song send your friends the link and then they can play it from within their own browser. Well, these next couple of websites do exactly that. The first one is called soundcloud.com. And basically what it does is it allows you to uh, upload a single MP3 to their web servers and you can put in track information, things like that. And this is really good, especially if it's a song that you created yourself and uh, and you want to share it with the public but they also have a private option if you just want to share it with one or two people and then you can just upload it and and send your friends or whoever you want to share it with the link or you could also it has an option that you can also search for uh, mp3s that other people have uploaded to SoundCloud and play them from within the browser as well the next website is called Playlist.io and it's by the makers of Drop.io which is a, a, a very popular uploading program. And they not only allow you to upload one mp3 but they allow you to upload many mp3s and create a playlist out of them that you can link to or send to other people. So it gives you the option of adding a username and password if you want to come back later and add more songs to it. You can add uh, up to a hundred megabytes of songs to this playlist and then just uh, it gives you a link that you can share with other people as well. So you got the music that you like to listen to, you got your favorite mp3s, but you're getting tired of listening to the same things over and over again. Well that's where these next websites come into play. They allow you to find new music based on what's popular or based on songs that you currently like or even based on the current mood that you're feeling at the time. The first website is called wearehunted.com and it shows you the 99 most popular songs of emerging artists or songs that are searched on the internet for that week or for that month and you can sort by either the song or the artist themselves and it just gives you a list that you can play from right within your browser and you can just scroll through the list and play all the different songs right there and you can also sign up for their newsletter to keep up to date about what's new. The next website is called sourcetone.com and what's unique about it is it allows you to play music based on how you're feeling. You can just uh, uh, click on what you're feeling from the wheel and it will play the similar music.
This next website is called twisten.fm and it allows you to search Twitter for posts about MP3s and allows you to play those MP3s from the list. And if you have a Twitter account, you can just sign in and it will allow you to search for your favorite band or favorite song that you might be currently listening to. And it will give you a list of results to see if your song is there and then you can post that directly to Twitter from your browser. The next, the next website, website is, is called Pandora.com and it's one of one the more popular, popular ways, ways to find music. music. It, it finds, finds music based, based on, on what, what you currently like and what, what you currently listen, listen to. to. And, and it, it allows, allows you to get, get more information, information about, about the albums and, and the songs, songs that, that you listen to if you like them. them. Similarly, Last.fm provides kind of the same service of getting new artist information based on the music that you currently listen to. It just kind of has a different interface. But both of these websites are U.S. based. So if you're not based in the U.S., Deezer.com is an excellent website that provides the same service and has a lot more options as well. Now I'm sure if there was a song that you heard on the internet that you really, really liked, you would probably find a way to download it. But I'm going to show you a few websites that allow you to download MP3s free of charge. The first website I'm sure you've heard of, it's called Amazon.com. And their MP3 list contains a whole bunch of free songs that are available for download. And you can find a direct link to this list in the video comments. The next website is called freemusicarchive.com and they offer free and open, open source music that you can upload if you have some or download it. The next website is the South by Southwest Music Conference website and they allow torrents that you can download. Uh, the 2009 music torrent has 5 gigabytes worth of music. The last website I'm going to show you is my favorite. It's called GrooveShark.com and it kind of combines the elements of all the previous websites that we've looked at. You can search for MP3s, you can upload your own MP3s, you can create playlists, you can embed these playlists, you can view similar artists, you can post to Twitter, Facebook, your own blog, different things like that. And it just gives you a whole uh, realm of different possibilities. You can even create widgets that you can embed into your website for people to play. So this is by far my favorite website and I highly recommend you checking it out if you like music. Now before I let you go, I, I just want to update everybody that uh, I'm experimenting with new video format. So please leave me your feedback if you like this video format or if you think I should go back to the old video format. And also, for my next video, I'm going to be reviewing some different types of web apps. So what I want you guys to do is tell me what your favorite web application are. You can do that either in the comments below or just visit the Tinkernut.com forum. And I've got a, a voting poll that you can use to vote for some web apps or suggest your own. All right, well, that's it for this tutorial. For more, go to Tinkernut.com.